here over at Lake Las Vegas for the Montalago Village Beer Festival in Las Vegas. There's a whole bunch of great brewers here. They're going to be pouring beer in these kind of glasses. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to different brewers here. We're going to get a little bit of an interview on each one and give you some really good feedback on who's exhibiting here today at the Montalago Village Beer Festival. It's going off the charts. I love this place. Richard over at New at um, No Limit Brew. Limit Brew. And uh, Richard, why don't you tell us about your brewery and what you want to do and how you're going to make it up to see here. Right, absolutely. Um, we've been going to events and brewing locally here for about three years. Uh, we have a lot of backing from our local brew friends and a lot of our, and a lot of the craft beer industry here in Las Vegas. Uh, we're in the process right now of looking for a location. We're planning on landing in Henderson. Uh, we just have to find the right spot for that. Our goal is to be open in, at the end of 2017. Well, I hope you do get Henderson. I live in Henderson, so that would be a nice little cue for me. Everybody says that. Yeah, that's really good. What are you pouring today at the uh, booth festival? We're pouring a, our, our wheat IPA. We're, we're inspired by our uh, Northeast IPA style. So we have a wheat IPA that's 6.5%. And then we have a big hit for us, it's a passion fruit wheat beer, we call it Passion Potion, and it sits at 4.5%. I'm going for that right now, right now. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, appreciate it. I appreciate it, thanks for your time. You know, besides a beer festival, there's tons of things to do here in Lake Las Vegas, which is where the venue is at tonight, it's beautiful. Obviously this is the lake here, we got people doing the jet skis, and they're going out, and uh, there's golf here as well, a really a great, great venue, a lot of fun. And uh, they do all kinds of really crazy things, like this guy over here. Um, he's about ready to do something. Okay, look at that. I don't even know what that's called, but that's pretty cool. What? Uh, what is that? Uh, but again, you know, we're not just here to drink beer. We're here to enjoy a great venue, great surroundings, and uh, obviously a great beer festival. Russell, tell us what you're pouring today here at the festival. Oh, perfect. A little uh, Orderville, big bright dank uh, mosaic IPA. It's really good. I'm telling you, this is awesome. Awesome. Clean on the back end. You get uh, Loma Land, one of our flagship beers. Real kind of a bright uh, traditional farmhouse style saison. Lemon, pepper, clove notes on the back end. This is summertime in the glass right here. Yeah, awesome. Where's Modern Times based out of? Uh, we're in San Diego. Oh, okay. Another San Diego brewery. Yeah, San Diego brewery. Yeah, right into Point Loma, right by the airport, and then we got another tasting room up in North Park. Right now, you guys, you guys have all your beers in cans, is that right? Or it seems like you're all That's true. Cans. Uh, cans and 22 ounce bottles. Right. Okay. Uh, Loma Land is going to be cans and draft, 16 ounce cans, four pack. The order bill is uh, 22 ounce bottles and draft. Awesome. Well, thanks for being Cheers. on the show. Cheers to you. Thank you very much. Space, right? Um, double the production, yep. which is, was the goal yep. at first, and um, yeah, we love it. And it's an actual brew pub, right? There's all kinds of stuff. Yes, you we have, have there. a tasting room, and you have uh, guest taps as well. Uh, yeah, we also have guest taps. I believe it's about 28 taps that we have on, 11, 12 of our own. And, and if you're local to Vegas, you got to go to Tonight Creek, the, the, the new brewery. I mean, it's really, I've heard, it's amazing. Uh, well, tell us what you're pouring here today. We're well, pouring our 702 American Pale Ale, right? uh, local 702. Uh, we have our Bonanza Brown Ale. Okay. Yeah. And these are sessionable beers. Right? Absolutely. Beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you at the, at the brewery one of these days. Uh, we're at Lake Cabernet City in Arizona, not too far from here, about two and a half hours away. We're uh, known for Big Blue Band, which is an American wheat blueberry vanilla. That's what I'm tasting right here, right? Yeah, yeah you get hit with a blueberry, just a hint of it. Oh, that's great. Vanilla just washes away, very light, easy drinking, very refreshing. It is, it's a good summer beer. Yes, it is, definitely. Yeah. And that's the only thing you're pouring this today? That's over the only thing the, I got uh, today, yeah, but I'm also known for the uh, our blueberry sour. Right. And we also have Sweet Double Stout, which is where you get a lot of dark chocolates, coffee, roasted malts. So I'd love, nice. love to meet up with you guys and bring those beers to you. Absolutely, you guys are in Lake Havasu, right? Yeah, yeah. And what's your domain name? How do we get in touch with you? Uh, it's College Street Brewery. Right? Uh, right? Come on. Or Coast Street Brew House <laughs> in pub.com. A little long. Yeah. I mean, this, this is really good. What's the alcohol level on this? 5 4. Oh, it's a sessionable beer. Yeah, yeah. not bad at all. JT, thanks a lot. Hey, thanks for your Appreciate time. It, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah.
Traveler beer, right? That's right. And this is new. This is really cool stuff. So you're involved with the uh, Sam Adams somehow? That's right. The Boston Beer Company. So oh, okay. this is our Traveler brand for our shandies. Beautiful. Yes. Excellent. And that's what you're pouring here tonight. You're getting the what? The, uh, this is the lemon, lemon shandy. Yes. Right? And our grapefruit shandy. Beautiful. So the great thing about these, both are actually made with the meat mm -hmm. of the fruit itself. So there's no syrups, no artificial flavorings. It's all natural. It's a good summer beer, right? It is absolutely a good summer and beer. it's summer. It is summer. It's like 105 it, degrees out here it today. It is. It is. And this, this one right here, this grapefruit shandy has been keeping me refreshed and cool for the last few hours. So you got a website? Bostonbeer.com. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. up a craft beer bar down at the Tuscany Suites and Casino. It's just east on Flamingo. We're going to be opening up at the end of June, early July, probably doing a grand opening in mid-July. We're going to have 365 rotating craft beers. That being said, we have 40 drafts, and then we're doing something as well called the Unicorn List. Something rare, majestic, and hunting. It's going to be very, very hard to get, hard to find beers. Things are allocated to our market, things are maybe outside of our market. Um, that's something I'm very excited about, so it's something we've been working on. We're also going to be doing beer dinners every month, or tap takeovers, or special tappings, or events. We have a beer club as well that we're doing. That's an app-based thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's on Mug Clubs. You can go on the uh, App Store and download the apps. Mug clubs, you consume 50, we're going to give you some swag, you consume 99, you're going to be entered into a raffle as we uh, possibly send you on a, a beer journey somewhere, San Diego, Great American Beer Festival, we can do something right, like right. that. We really want to make this something, it's for, the, for the beer lover, the beer connoisseur, something that's just amazing. There's a lot of beer lovers in Las Vegas, right? A lot yeah, of craft absolutely. beer guys out here, so yeah, that, that's great. I wish you all the luck in the world with this. Thank you very much. Yeah. Howard, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you guys. We got Russ, Alex, and Ben here. These guys are the pretzel madness guys. Look at these, look at these pretzel necklaces. Now you cannot go to a beer festival without wearing something like this. Am I right? I'm serious. Yeah. This is how you do it. This right. is how you do it. This is the way, this is the way you enjoy a beer festival, right? Yes. Alright, now we're in front of the Lagunitas booth, of course, you know, Lagunitas something something. Lagunitas! One of my favorite cheers, ideas, cheers, you guys know, who cheers. watch the show. And now, really quickly, what do you guys, you guys are, are WordPress guys, right? We're WordPress guys, yes. Okay, so if anybody has any issues with WordPress, you contact these guys, right? Yes, you go to WPVegas.com. Alright, alright, and that's what you're not drinking. That's what I'm not drinking, correct. Okay, correct. well, guys, thank you so much for being on the show, thank I you. appreciate it so Run, much. thank you. Yeah, yeah, it was a pleasure. Sí, sí. Bueno, ¿tú hablas español de primer idioma o segundo idioma de español? ¿O falas por qué? No, no, no. Español. Español y español.